One of the most rewarding things that we all do in plastic surgery, and certainly that, that I have loved to do, is to help children with cleft lips and cleft palates. These children are transformed by this procedure, the repair of the cleft lip and palate. We wanna make them smile both internally and externally. For kids with clefts, it may take multiple surgeries over numerous years throughout their youth to achieve the final result. This can truly take a toll on the patients physically and emotionally, as well as their parents. While the intention for all of us is to improve the quality of life in these children, there is no good psychosocial data on the metrics of timing of surgery in cleft lip and palate patients. That's why the authors of this new and innovative hot topic in PRS designed an experiment to evaluate the possible long-term effects of multiple surgeries on psychosocial functioning. They started looking at a group of children that actually had no problem telling adults what they thought about surgery. And that was, of course, the teenagers. 55 cleft lip and palate patients aged from 14 to 17 completed surveys designed to assess their anger, anxiety, and depression. The researchers compared their responses to non-cleft teens. They found no difference in overall psychosocial functioning between teenagers in either group and concluded that the total number of childhood surgeries did not correlate to psychosocial functioning of cleft teens. I find that to be truly amazing. However, when they looked closer at the data, they found that teens who had more surgeries between ages 8 and 10 were more likely to have increased anxiety and depression. That's very important. Based upon this data, the authors report that cleft kids between ages 8 and 10 are in a sensitive period. They are at risk for more distress later in life. More surgeries during these time frames may result in long-term consequences in anxiety and depression. The important outcome of this study, which I think all of us should keep in mind in the management and timing of cleft lip and cleft palate, in these patients is that between 8 and 10 years of age, we should limit the number of procedures as this is the time when they can actually accentuate their anxiety and depression long term. Because after all, we want them to continue to smile both internally and externally. So if you know someone that has a cleft lip or cleft palate or a child of a cleft lip or cleft palate patient, please don't hesitate to find a board certified plastic surgeon in your area that actually has expertise in cleft lip and cleft palate or craniofacial surgery. 